Moon and back in some 40 years, becoming the third nation to do so after the former Soviet Union and the United States. Nijia has the details. Celebrating a successful test mission. The re-entry process began at around 6 a.m. on Saturday morning, with the orbiter approaching Earth at a velocity of about 11.2 kilometers per second. To help it slow down, the craft was designed to bounce off the edge of the atmosphere before re-entering again. Once it landed, anxiety quickly gave way to satisfaction. I think it's not an exaggeration to say the mission has been a complete success. Everything turned out exactly as we planned. We have fully achieved the tests on re-entry technology. The test lunar orbiter, nicknamed Xiaofei or Little Flyer, landed in Inner Mongolia autonomous region some 500 kilometers away from Beijing. Teams have already recovered the orbiter at the designated landing area and will soon be pouring over the data it collected. The IDAI program is a test run for the final chapter of China's three-step lunar program. The successful test mission has gathered a lot of experimental data and laid a solid foundation for future missions. Launched Friday last week, the orbiter traveled some 840,000 kilometers, capturing along the way some incredible pictures of Earth and the Moon. Saturday's success is another step forward for China's lunar ambitions, which could, one day, land a man on the moon. New job, CCTV. And that is all for this CCTV News Update. I'm Rachel Rubel in Beijing. Thanks for watching.